Welcome back, y'all. Ryan Hall here with the weather forecast. We've got a lot to talk about today. We've got an update on that big, severe weather outbreak that's getting ready to happen. A blizzard, some rain, and just all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't want to waste your time. Let's get right into this, and let's make it simple, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the whole progression of what the weather's going to look like on a very simple map, okay? The blue is snow. The green is rain. The, the red lines indicate warm air. The blue lines indicate cold air, essentially. Uh, of course, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to have snow and rain out here. It's nothing too much to worry about. What I want to focus on for this video is the big system that's coming in through the West. All right. We, I, I made a main channel video about this yesterday where I talked about how this huge bowling ball trough is going to come through and cause a storm. And we can really see it enter the mountain West here between Saturday and Monday. By the time we get to Monday, December 12th, we're going to see a low pressure center form around Denver and work into the Great Plains. That storm system is going to deepen quickly and cause um, a severe weather outbreak and a blizzard at the same time. Before that, though, it's going to dump a ton of snow in the Sierras and the Cascades. Uh, we're talking about feet of snow, especially in uh, California there. Uh, we're also going to see some rain in Southern California and a lot of wind uh, from uh, Arizona into New Mexico and the Four Corners region. There's really not a whole lot I can say about that other than there will be an extended period of precipitation here. There's not going to be any sort of organized severe weather or anything. That's going to happen after this storm gets into to the central plains. Now watch this thing really ramp up here from Monday into Tuesday. On Monday, we are gonna see some severe weather in Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas, but it'll be mostly elevated, meaning that the storms will be too high up to cause tornadoes or a lot of damaging winds. Any sort of uh, severe weather is gonna come in the form of hail, I think, on Monday. But there's gonna be a lot of rain and a lot of energy out here as we get into the day on Tuesday. Also, look at the backside. Snow, blizzard conditions in Nebraska, South Dakota, and North Dakota. All at the same time. The farther we go into the day on Tuesday, this is where things get really concerning, especially in the deep south here. Look at this thing. You can clearly see the counterclockwise rotation. You can see how strong and how uh, intense the cyclogenesis is. Like you can just really see how this is kind of curling up the air across the entire lower 48. That's how strong this storm is. And that strength is going to bring in some really warm and unstable air over the deep south. That's going to combine with the cold air that's coming in on the back side. And of course, we are going to see uh, some severe weather. Most of that severe weather is going to be occurring in the yellow zone here. This is the dew points. Anytime we've got dew points above 55, 60 degrees, uh, which is indicated by the yellow here, uh, we have enough moisture in the air to cause thunderstorms. And the brighter that yellow gets and the, or the closer to orange it gets, the more rich that moisture is. And that's what we've got to really focus on when we're trying to figure out what kind of severe weather situation we're going to see. It's going to feel like an early October day, not a mid-December. December day down here on Tuesday, and that's why we think we're, we're going to have a severe weather situation. Here's a look at the instantaneous flash rate. This shows us where lightning strikes can happen, and that pretty much tells us where storms are going to happen. Once again, late Monday into Tuesday, we're going to see storms pop up in the Great Plains, but they're going to increase in intensity and coverage as we get into Tuesday. Around 4 p.m. Tuesday, we might have um, a severe weather outbreak going on here, maybe even a tornado outbreak. That's going to continue off to the east, and it'll become a linear problem more than likely around the Mississippi River. So once this gets passed, the Mississippi River, it's still going to be a problem. We're still going to see severe weather in Mississippi, Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle all the way through Thursday. But at this point, we're talking about a line of storms, a straight line damaging wind problem. The tornado threat is going to be the biggest from Oklahoma into Arkansas, Texas, and Louisiana. I'm not the only one saying this. The Storm Prediction Center agrees with me. We've got a day five, 30% risk area for Louisiana and Arkansas with a big 15% area around that. And then we've got a day six, 15% risk for that squall line as it races off to the south and east. One of the things that has me concerned about this is the mid-level wind field. We've got winds above the surface here in Arkansas around 7 p.m. on Tuesday, December 13th, roaring between 50 and 70 miles an hour. And that's going to provide a lot of wind shear. And if we do get supercells, if we get those storms that are all by themselves that form out here, and it looks like we might, that will cause them to rotate. And this is the kind of environment that would support long track uh, tornadoes. I don't know if that's going to happen right now. I can't tell you with any sort of certainty what the storm mode is going to look like, but if we do see those discrete supercells, it is going to be a mess out there. Now is the time to prepare. Once 
again, you don't want to be scared. Um, you want to be prepared. We had a similar severe weather situation just a couple weeks ago down here. I hope people aren't desensitized to the situation because of that, even though there were a lot of tornadoes with that system. Maybe it didn't live up to the hype. I guess some people say stuff like that, but this one could be different. And this one could be the one that actually impacts your neighborhood. And I just want to do everything that I can to make sure you understand. We're not just out here tooting our horns and, and shouting uh, panic for no reason. The weather models, which have accurately predicted tornado outbreaks in the past millions of times, not millions, but a lot of times, are showing similar signs again. And, and like, of course, they could be wrong. It's looking like it, it's, it could be bad. So we want to prepare you for the worst case scenario. We just want to make sure you're not scared, but rather prepared. Okay. And of course, this is going to continue to go off to the east. It'll be out of your hair in, in the Arklatex region by the morning hours on Wednesday. Uh, but this is when we're starting to get concerned uh, about Mississippi, Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle, especially as we get into the afternoon hours. But look, we're going to have rain and wind all the way up into the Great Lakes region as well. It just won't be severe. And then, of course, we're also going to see that big snowstorm back here in Minnesota and even into portions of North Dakota. Manitoba, of course, and Ontario are going to be dealing with that as we go through Wednesday. Now, what happens is this goes on off to the east. It's going to impact the Appalachian region, the southeastern U.S., the Ohio Valley, and the Mid-Atlantic, but not in the form of severe weather. Like this is not gonna be a tornado outbreak for South Carolina. Uh, even though it looks similar <laughs> on this map as it did you know, back here in Arkansas, the, the dynamics with this storm at this point are, are gonna be different. And we're mainly just talking about rain and wind at this point. Now, look at all that pink up there in Pennsylvania. That's showing a mixture of snow and rain or maybe even ice. And then of course that's quickly gonna turn into snow. Maybe the first real shot of accumulating snow for a lot of Northern Pennsylvania and and the interior Northeast. Speaking of snow, we've got Christmas on the way, all right? And I have a merch store, shopryanhall.com. We've got everything a weather nerd could ever possibly want. Do you know one? Are you one? Get yourself or your loved one a Christmas present today on shopryanhall.com. I've got weather radios, yala meter snow measuring sticks, and I have these brand new t-shirts and hoodies and sweaters and, and all this stuff with this awesome design on it. We're calling the Twister Tree. This is a Christmas tree that is a tornado. How cool is that. It's available on my website right now. And if you use the code CAKE for the next 48 hours or so, you're going to get 10% off your entire order. This is a big sale. We've never done anything like this before. All right. And I know you want it. It helps support me. It's cool. And uh, if you get the weather radio and the Yala Day bundle or something like that, it, it could be uh, a very smart purchase because, you know, you can sleep soundly knowing that those things will wake you up if there is a tornado warning. So anyways, Let's get back into the video. I just needed to plug my merch site because, you know, I'm a YouTuber and we do that. <laughs> Not necessarily close to the coast, but closer to the coast than what we've seen so far this year on Friday, December 16th, as this might turn into a little bit of a nor'easter as it exits to the north and east there. Now, this is a little bit out into la-la land. We're 200 hours into the future. This could change. But one thing's for sure, this is going to exit the U.S. like this, and it's going to bring in those northwesterly winds that are going going to turn on the lake effect and lake enhanced snow machines once again for this entire region up here. And in fact, this time we might see that moisture kind of uh, graze up against the Appalachian mountains and cause a lot of mountain snow, especially on the Northwestern side of those mountains. And I think that this could be a pretty good accumulating event. And I'm kind of excited for it because, well, you know, I live in Appalachia and this is how we always get our best snow. So I'm rooting for it. All right. Once again, there's your progression, big storm. Everybody in the whole U S is going to feel this one some more than others, but uh, I just want to make sure that you guys know all of the information, all the impacts, and especially if you live down here in the deep south, this is the one that you've got to pay attention to, okay? If I'm wrong about it, fine, okay? But what do you have to lose just by being a little bit more prepared, all right? Watch my videos, stay up to date with the local National Weather Service, and it, everything's going to be good. Now, let's talk about snow again. We're going to see a big area that receives more than eight inches of snow from western Nebraska through South Dakota, all the way up into North Dakota, a lot of Minnesota. The pink is where you start to get around 10 to 12 inches. And then that light blue is where we could see uh, close to two feet of snow. Also, this is showing quite a bit of uh, accumulation in upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and a little bit of the western portion of Massachusetts. I'm not completely sold on this yet, but that is a possibility. Uh, but of course, the winners here, if you like snow, <laughs> are going to be uh, the Sierras with feet 
feet of snow. We're talking three or four feet up there, uh, which is going to be great for, you know, water. This area is always needing water, and the more snowpack we can get on those mountains, the better. And of course, last but not least, let's quickly talk about the, the far future, the la-la land of weather forecasting. After this big storm gets by, it's going to set in a big area of cold air across much of the U.S. The farther south that this goes, the more likely it is that this next storm that's forming will stay south and then bring more of that cold air down and possibly cause a snowstorm for somebody in this area, okay? I, I really do believe that a Christmas snowstorm or at least a Christmas week snowstorm is possible in that black zone. If this cold air is maybe only this far down or this far down, um, then the, the low pressure center is gonna ride that boundary. And if the low pressure goes this way, then we're gonna see a snowstorm up here for Christmas week, all right? So pretty much anywhere <laughs> in this zone is going to have a potential for a Christmas snowstorm or a white Christmas. But right now, I'm not 100% sure exactly where that's gonna go just yet. Not a lot of people are putting this kind of information out because it, it's, it is in la-la land. Everything's gonna change a million times. But I'm almost certain that this system, this storm system that's going to come in behind the big one that we're talking about now is going to impact the weather during Christmas week and somebody's going to get snow. So I'm just trying to give you a heads up as to where that could be. Thanks for watching. Make sure you slap that like button and subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't, subscribe to my main channel, Ryan Hall, y'all. Um, I just did a video over there. Please go watch it. We put a lot of work into it. It's a good video. Uh, and of course, uh, go to shopryanhall.com and get you one of those Twister Tree merch shirts. You're going to love it.